videos of the Cupid Says Oracle deck walkthrough, which I'll link below, and also our Family Heirloom Tarot deck walkthrough, perhaps. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the Wise Love Letters. I do not have proper packaging for this deck because um, it's one of those decks that are print on demand, so it's only available on makeplaincards.com, which I will leave a link for down below as well. Um, where I've uploaded my design and I have a shop there so if you order the printer will print it on demand and send it to you it will only be in shrink wrap and a um, unit carton that is plain white so yeah and this tin here is from my other deck and it fits it because it's circle the same size as well so yeah I just keep it here so this deck, if I'm not wrong, it has 55 cards. This is a fairly new one and it doesn't have a lot of like attention around it because I haven't sent any out for PR and also because it's not like an in stock that I have. So let me tell you a little story about this so that we can get to know this deck a little bit more. So the first things first, if you have our Cupid Says Oracle deck or you're thinking about getting it, this is the same exact size in circular shape. This is also an oracle deck. It is more of a general guidance one, whereas the Cupid says is a love one. Very much specifically so. So if I created this because like I felt like there are situations where you just need general guidance when you're asking about career, about like maybe I don't know, like friends. Or life in general and you just need a little pick-me-up of inspirational wise sayings from someone who's older that's where this is from and also the design it's called love letters but it's more love letters to you the engine outside is really loud I hope you can hear me um, and it's modeled after a Chinese uh, like snack that we eat I eat personally when it's Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. And so I made two designs that are similar to that with Seba and Seima, which are the characters and my parents of this brand. So yeah, and they look like cookies. The love letters are usually rolled up. So when they're not rolled up, they're circular like that. And I really love the design. If you, if you two are obsessed with like looking at visuals, like I am, here's a look. And the back looks like this with wise love letters right here. And yeah, so again for the specs, these are a more slippery deck. The cards are very thin, so. For me, I like that because it's easy to shuffle. And then they just pop right out and you have your message. Stop trying to please everybody, that is impossible, so. Yeah, I know some people don't really like very smooth decks and when you set it down a table, sometimes it moves. It does get slightly less slippery as you use, just ever so slightly, so. That's that, and I will leave the price and the um, quantity of cards intact somewhere at the side so that you know we can have some details. But I'm pretty sure there's 55 cards, so let's just jump into looking at the different ones that are in here. So I'm not going to do very much talking because these messages are meant to be very, very intuitive and very easy to read, just like the Cupid says. And you can interpret it however you see fit based on the question that's being asked, the person, etc. So, these are longer messages than Cupid says as well. And they are some of my favorite advices. And they're not like all sunshine and rainbow. There's a lot of tough love in here. As with 
Asian parenting. <laughs> Some of these things my parents have said to me before, so that's why they're in here. That was a finance one that you can use uh, for like career readings and finances so again this is a general one that you really can cut across all different types of readings and you can even use it for like love readings if you really want to no writer We all love a little good traveling. Come with me. This is your sign to address to it. If you hear the Oliver Tree song, I do too. This is something we all need to hear, even if we don't admit it. A lot of these are truly messages that we need to hear, but we don't often get it. Or we're kind of in denial when someone does say it to us, so they're in this deck for a very specific reason. And they are love letters to you and only you. Wise love letters at that. And our last card, don't diminish your feelings, you are only human, so yeah that is the wise love letters so again i will put the link down below for this deck and thank you so much for watching if you are interested you can totally just place an order there and again it's print on demand so they're not shipped from me they're shipped from my printer and thank you and we will see you again next time bye bye So one thing <laughs> that I wanted to add and I wanted to plug that I kind of forgot is I was talking about hitting the camera. No. I was talking about our family heirloom material. This one is my own that I've been using. So this is what family heirloom looks like. If you want the full video, again, it's linked down below. So this is what it looks like. It's very much inspired by Asian heritage chinese heritage singapore heritage and also this very vintage look because it's very heavily revolved around family and so i really wanted this very like 
sixties kind of neutral, no, not neutral, sixties like groovy kind of funky color palette. So here are some of the cards for you to look at. But what I really wanted to plug is that we have two variations that have come out of this tarot deck. One of it I do have right here. This is the standard tarot size by the way, and you do get the tin. This is from the shop. So again, it looks like that. This is what you will get. The mini tarot, this is print on demand. So I have this one here because I really love this one and I had to print one for myself because it's so portable. This is the mini family heirloom tarot. It's so tiny, but it's in a micro bag. Okay, so I just have this bag here that fits it very, very snugly. So <laughs> you are not ready for this cuteness. And if you're wondering, the bag is designed so that, you know, upright or reversed, you can't tell from the back. So this is the tiny one, look at it. So, it's so teeny tiny. If I put it up against for you to see, this is how tiny the baby deck is. It is so cute. So this is what it looks like. This is actually slightly wider on the sides because they only have one size for the um, mini deck and this is more polka card ratio. So let me just zoom or bring it closer to the camera so you can see some more of these aesthetics. So the mini deck is available if you are looking for either a portable deck or a like more affordable option or just a cute option. This is so cute and like I can just bring this to parties because everybody always have questions that need a little bit of guidance on so yeah we do have the mini deck which I'm so excited about and the other deck we have I don't have on hand but I'm gonna put like some pictures here um, is the beginners version of the tarot so it will have the interpretation of the cards upright and reversed on both sides and the general like yes or no or maybe answers on the side so that for beginners you can read it you know have a little bit of help with interpreting tarot cards but yeah so that's what i wanted to plug thank you very much for watching the video and all links down below all videos down below yeah have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.